Welcome to Creative Matchup, presented by Adobe, where we're pitting agency against agency in an all-out creative battle. In our last episode, we had Team Publicist and Team OMFG Co. going head-to-head -to, -head to see who can create an entire social media campaign in under three hours using Adobe Stock. Both teams did an excellent job on their initial creative, but midway through, we decided to throw a hair pick into the mix. All right, stop the clock. In order to make this challenge as real as possible, we're gonna throw a major revision into both of your projects. All right, guys, this is a challenging one. It looks like the client wants to add a 15 to 30 second video to both of your campaigns. Here we go, let's roll up that clock and get back to work. Okay, so we're basically back to square one. So now not only do we have to make an entire social media campaign in three, two hours, but we also have to make a video component. We've got to pretty much create a whole new element, new assets that definitely threw the cat amongst the pigeons. We made great progress on a lot of our static assets, but didn't really know how that was going to easily translate to some like movement or anything stock footage-wise. Jade. Hey. How has Adobe Stock been helpful for your workflow? I don't think that we could get this done in this amount of time without having such ease of, you know, moving files around. You can use, you know, any stock image and decide not to use it later on. Even though there's a watermark, you can work around it, and as soon as you license the image, it goes away, um, which has been really awesome. Um, if you use best practices while you're designing, it works out really well. Creative Cloud for Teams has been really amazing to work with. Uh, the fact that we can share files so easily, um, and, and w once I download a file and license it, it's immediately accessible by my team. It's like, that's the only way we're gonna get through this next two hours. To be able to search for footage directly inside of the NLE and then bring it into the project and then bring it into the timeline was a huge time saver. It allowed us to be creative very quickly. As a, as a creative director, you're always worried about making too many changes because it's hard to go back on something. So if, even though I'm not actually working on the, um, the apps themselves, I feel more freed up to make more decisions. I'm like more empowered to change things um, because, uh, because the apps are allowing me to do that. Guys, you have one hour left. Don't forget, you still need to render that 15 to 30 second video before the clock strikes zero. So you better get working. This is when the, when you start doubting yourself whether you're actually gonna make it. I'm sweating a little right now. Um, I'm wondering if we're gonna have a slightly incomplete video at this point. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. I'm like fumbling around Premiere. I'm not super familiar with the program. It's been years since I've used it. I have a cut. It's working, but it's not there yet. 15 minutes left. You only have 15 minutes. Make sure that all of your assets are fully licensed and rendered before the clock strikes zero. I think I've got everything off my plate for the most part. Uh, all I can do at this point is be as supportive as I can and uh, try to stay out of the way. Slade is still making changes at the 10 minute mark. I'm here sweating. Let's go there, this. I will go there, and then, we, and then we have our film. Okay. Five minutes, you guys have five minutes left. I am freaking out. I have my cut and we're all liking it, but all the footage is still watermarked and I need to license the footage so that I can export the video and get it into the presentation. You know, it's coming together, but it's down to the wire. I'm a little nervous, but you know, all I can do is keep going. One minute, this is the last minute. Start wrapping it up. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up. Off the computers, let's go. Let's see those hands up. Guys, that was absolutely incredible. You all crushed it. We know it's not very easy to do this in three hours, having limited time, but you guys did a fantastic job. But now it's time for the judges to take a look at what you've done and tell us who wins. We wanted to do Terry a, a service. We wanted to do, do the LGBTQ community a service and really try to like pour our hearts into this one in a, in a way that would do people right. Hey guys, just wanted to thank you guys for letting us participate in this challenge. It's been a, a lot of fun, definitely tough to squeeze it all into three hours. And so what we landed on was, first of all, a phrase. I love love. Wanted to bring that to various collateral, like posters and t-shirts. be on tote bags, it could be on coffee mugs. For the social campaign, we wanted to, um, you know, definitely tackle all the relevant platforms and get people hashtagging and through their lifestyle shots that they tag with I love love or Orlando Strong. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that we love love. The simplicity of it really speaks to 
the fact that it's really all-encompassing. So I think you guys got that message really, really good. I'm happy with what we came up with. Um, I do feel that we could have done more. This idea of um, never saying no to anybody was what really like had traction for us. You open your door to everyone uh, and you never say no to anybody. You can see it on a t-shirt, you can see people saying it as a mantra. You can even see it, people saying it as a challenge. The tension of, I think, what you're you're putting out there, yep. it's bold, right? Yep. And so it's going to require coming really strong to really own that. Really got no bad critique, because um, this is what we are. Just so happy and relieved that he loves it, and he thinks what we encapsulated in that line is the essence of the organization. We kept talking about like how significant this message is and how, how big it is, and we definitely felt like we could approach it differently, both us and possibly the other team. So we, we, have, we have a surprise in mind. What you guys did in three hours is absolutely incredible, but now it's time to see what the judges have to say. Guys, you did an absolutely amazing job. What you were able to come up with in just three hours, both of them showed what the center does and captured us completely. I know I have to make a decision. It's not something I, I, it, that, that's coming directly into my head right now. I know I have to, and I... Uh... Terry, let me stop you right there. You don't have to make the hard decision. This is such a big campaign, such a big message that it really should be worldwide that instead of competing against one another, I feel like we should work together and offer you guys both ideas. If Team Publicist is cool with that, we'd be happy to do so. Absolutely. We'll never say no to that idea. I love love. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. Yo, nice work. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Wow, that was, that was like, like a wonderful gesture. Stoked that they were down for collaboration and, and coming together. For those two to come together and say, we want to give the center both of those campaigns was amazing for us. And it's going to propel the center to a new level. All right, guys, that's it for Creative Matchup. We'll see you next time.